a violent axe attack at DIA has led to a criminal charge against a United Airlines pilot. Good evening. I'm Michaela White in for Karen Lee. And I'm Michael Spencer. Thanks so much for joining us. That pilot has been removed from the cockpit, at least for the time being. CBS News Colorado investigator Brian Moss joins us live tonight at DIA with that video of what happened. Brian. Michael, we don't know how the workday started August 2nd for United Airlines pilot pilot Kenneth Jones, but we certainly know now how it ended with him swinging an axe out here at DIA, causing damage and briefly being handcuffed and arrested. Jones had parked in this employee parking lot at the airport, but when he tried to leave, he told police he got tired of waiting for the control gates to open and let drivers out. In video obtained by CBS News Colorado, the pilot in uniform can be seen retrieving a full-sized axe from his car and returning to the parking exit, where he proceeds to take nearly two dozen swings at the parking gate until he chops it off of its base. Federal records show Jones, who is 63, is licensed to fly large passenger jets like 757s and 767s. After disabling the parking arm, an airport employee follows Jones, confronts him, and the two are seen in a protracted struggle over the axe. The pilot is only disarmed after a second airport employee joins the fray. United Airlines is not saying much about the incident, but a spokesman for the airline says that for the time being, Jones has been taken out of the cockpit and is on leave, while United conducts an internal investigation into what happened. Police caught up with Jones in a nearby field and handcuffed him. But soon after, he was escorted back to his car and was allowed to leave. According to a police report, Jones told an officer he just hit his breaking point, was trying to get rid of issues for everyone waiting. Court records show Jones is being charged with criminal mischief in Adams County. Damage to the parking gate was estimated at about $700. Now we tried to reach that pilot by phone, email, and text message, but got no response. Colorado criminal records show he's not been arrested or convicted here of anything before. Reporting live at DIA, I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First.